In this video, I'll show you how to set up your own V2Ray VPN server, step by step. It's one of the best options for bypassing internet restrictions and securing your connection. V2Ray offers high speed, great stability, and most importantly, strong privacy. It's extremely hard to detect by government firewalls, making it ideal for use in countries with heavy internet censorship. First, you need a VPS with at least one CPU and one gigabyte of RAM, running either Ubuntu 20.04 or Debian 11 or higher. If you don't have a VPS or you don't know how to buy one, check out my video, Buying Your First VPS, watch this first. Link is in the description. After creating your VPS, you need to connect to it. I use Termius, the SSH client I personally recommend. If you don't know how to do that, I also cover it in my video, How to Connect to Your VPS Using Termius, link in the description. Open Termius. Create a new host. Enter your VPS IP. Set the username to root. And enter the VPS password, usually sent to you by email. Then connect. First, update your system by running this command. This makes sure your server is fully up to date before installing any new software. To install the V2Ray server on your VPS, we'll use a script by Sinai, which makes the setup fast and easy. To install it run this command. When asked, would you like to customize panel port setting, just press enter to set a random port automatically. After the installation is complete, type XUI and press enter to open the V2Ray menu. Then type 6 and press enter to set the admin username and password. It will ask for confirmation, type Y and press enter. Enter the username you want and press enter. Then type your password and press enter. It will ask to restart the panel, type Y and press enter. After the panel restarts, press enter to return to the main menu. Type 10 and press enter to display the web UI address. Open it in your browser or, if using Termius, hold control and click the link to launch it directly. Once the web UI opens, log in using the username and password you created. To create your VPN config, go to the Inbounds page and click Add Inbound. Set a name, leave the protocol as VLES, and choose a port or keep the default. Click Clients, then in the Email section, type a name for your client. Leave the other settings unchanged and click Create. To add more clients for other devices or friends, click the three dots next to the inbound you made, then select Add Client. Enter the client name in the email field and click Add Client. You can create as many clients as you want based on your VPS specs. Usually, a VPS with 1GB RAM and 1 CPU can easily handle around 10 users without slowing down. If you have a more powerful VPS, you can support even more clients while maintaining good speed. To connect to V2Ray on Windows, I recommend using the V2Ray N app. It's one of the best options available. To download it, go to the V2Ray N GitHub download page. In the Assets section, click Show All and download the Windows self-contained version. Unzip the file. Move the folder to C drive. Then open v2ray.exe as administrator. 
Now go to the web UI and copy a client config by clicking on its QR code icon. In V2 Rayen, click Configuration, then Import Share Links from Clipboard. Then select the imported config by clicking on it, and press Enter to activate it. Click Reload to test the connection. If it shows a ping number in the bottom right, you're connected but if it shows minus 1, the connection failed. Until you activate it, your system is not connected to V2 Ray. To enable it, right-click the V2 Ray and icon in the taskbar and select Set System Proxy. This makes your browser use the VPN. To route all app traffic, enable the Enable Ton option inside the app. After using the VPN, remember to clear system proxy from the taskbar icon or Windows settings. If you forget, your internet may not work properly after rebooting. The best free app for Android is V2RayNG. It may not be on Google Play, so go to its GitHub download page and get the latest version. If you're unsure about your CPU architecture, download the universal version. Install and open the app. Tap the plus icon at the top right. Then, choose Import Config from Clipboard. If you've already copied the config file, it will be imported automatically. Once imported, tap the config to select it, then press the play button at the bottom right. Allow any permissions it asks for. It should now connect. And that's it. You now have your own V2Ray VPN server up and running, with clients set up on both Windows and Android. If you found this useful, like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more tutorials on servers, networking, and free tools. See you in the next one.